All right, what's up guys? So we are escaping this beautiful 10 gallon here today. We're making this a nice little shrimp tank. And this was actually originally, uh, I had my gecko in here, but um, I moved him to a nice 20 gallon long. So he is living life like a luxurious man right now and enjoying every second of it. But I decided I kind of want to make this like a actual shrimp tank. The shrimp tank we made last time it was it wasn't that great uh the store i went to they were pretty like low in stock on shrimp so um we kind of got a mix of shrimp uh this time i'm thinking we'll do probably like a dozen cherry shrimp and maybe some like neons or um something like that uh depending on what they have when i go there you know maybe we'll get some um some orange uh maybe some velvet something like that you know but uh, I did scape this up, and unfortunately, I didn't get the footage for that because, um, you know, I just forgot. I was kind of busy, and um, I just kind of didn't have time to film it. So the tank, you may be wondering why the tank is so dirty. Um, again, this was a nice gecko tank, so there is some, like, you know, it was, it was pretty dry. But I did clean everything up. And there is no more sand anywhere but there is some residue as you can see on the walls obviously it the residue is going to go away once i put the water in the tank there's not much i can do about it now i already wiped off everything that was you know easy to wipe off but all that that's left will go away once we fill this bad boy up all right so the tank is uh cycled it's been about two weeks since we set it up and the plants are doing great. Um, everything's growing, you know, our crypts, everything's rooted. I ended up not getting the cherry shrimp. Um, it was kind of in the end, it was kind of between dark chocolate, dark, like dark red chocolate shrimp. I think that was, that was the name of them. And they were like a deep red, but they were pretty cool. But I ended up going with these sun-kissed uh, shrimp. Uh, I don't know how well you can see them, but they're very, very orange. And uh, my dude gave me a deal. Uh, so I got these for a cheaper price than you would normally get them. There's about 10 of them in there. Uh, two or three fully grown adults. And then a couple kind of juveniles. So they'll probably, you know get to breeding after a while and you'll have a bunch of them i didn't want to go with blue or really any other colors because they wouldn't really stick out as much with the uh, black gravel and everything i think the orange is going to look pretty great i have a pretty deep kind of sunset uh color to them and yeah i think that's kind of what we're going to do We'll probably put some neons in here a little later on once the shrimp kind of get established after a few months. So I'll give you guys like a little update video on that, like uh, what fish we put in here. Oh, there's a mystery snail in the corner over there. But um, for the most part, this is shrimp orientated uh, tank. And we really don't want to put anything in here like a betta that might uh, lower the population. Once the population gets high enough, like we said, we'll, we'll put some sort of reservoirs or neons in there. So I'm going to stop blabbering and I'm going to get these fish in the tank.
All right, so they're in the tank. Um, there's one of the adults near the front, very beautiful orange. They look like they kind of scattered. Yeah, there's some in the corner over here. Kind of over here. Uh, I think we got all of them in there safely with that net. It's kind of sketch putting your shrimp in the tank sometimes. But it does look like we got them all. Very beautiful under that light especially. So I'm going to let them get kind of used to the tank, you know, start breeding. There's plenty of plants in there for baby shrimp to hide. And I'll give you guys an update on this in about a month. Like, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video.